Hi, everyone. So as you all know, and you've been watching, you've been seeing all of the buzz about the new IODA paint inlays. And we've been so just overwhelmed with joy and gratitude at y'all's reception of it. It's so exciting for us. Um, having a new innovation and a new product category is huge, but what makes it the most amazing is that it's for you guys and that you guys get it. So we're so excited about that. However, we must confess something. We told you there were two designs. There's three. <laughs> Our initial um, release is three designs. So we have the third one that was waylaid a little bit as you know, there's, you know, crazy things with freight and timing and all those things. So what that meant is we got to hold one back to be able to surprise you with later. That's right. And the one that we have held back is called We're going to reveal it right now. We're going to reveal it. Grizel Toile. And let me read it to you, the description. Our Grizel Toile was inspired by a cotton textile fragment dating to the late 1700s. The classical yet playful composition charmed the socks off of us, and we knew it would be instantly embraced by our IOD tribe. We were sitting right over there on that couch, looking at uh, just brainstorming designs and looking through those, and this one just yes, captured us. Just beautiful historic fragment mm -hmm. of a textile. And, and we like, said, our people will love this. So... Let's start by showing you in the packaging. Okay, so this is the back of it. I'm showing you a little at a time, secret style, right? <laughs> um, and this is the pattern layout, some examples of the product in use, but okay. So here we have the actual design. And let me go ahead and pull out it's so pretty yes we've actually used two sheets from this one to create <laughs> samples so but you can see this beautiful you really won't get the full impact until we show it to you on. Yes. So we are going to, we've applied it to a, we've inlaid it and we're going to remove it and show you. But Sal, can you show them the example piece? I just love this piece that Josie made with this black. It just looks gorgeous on this. It's that came off of that project. And so you, as you can see, it carried that black pigment with it. And when I went to get that second impression, this is how that looked. Oh, and I loved it. It's that just... is what I love about the inlays is that it's, it's like this wonderful process of, um, it, it's like the inlay goes on a journey. Yes, you go on and a you journey see together. A little bit of what it's been through in its life exactly. with each phase. But look at how beautiful that different, um, the different depths of the pigment that carried from the first application is just adds texture. And I'm telling you, like, it would be very difficult to get this effect if I tried to. So one exactly. thing that I love about the second application of the inlays is that it takes a little bit of the control away from you in a good way. Mm -hmm. And those of you who um, are on the art journey along with us know that sometimes one of our biggest challenges is making ourselves mm -hmm. not have so much control. That's so giving great. ourselves more freedom and more fluidness. So that's one of the things that we love about um, the second usage and third uses of that mm -hmm. is you get that movement and that variation um, because you cannot really control how that happens. And not, only, <laughs> not only that, but it's like it's a surprise. Yeah. When you put the, on the second 
the second use and the third use. When you do that, as you pull it up, it's a fun surprise. What is it going to, what is it going to reveal? How much of that paint is going to come through? And what is that going to look like? It's, it's really fun. That's so true. So, so true. So I'm going to, we, I got to tell you a funny story. We, um, prepared this, we inlaid one of the sheets and I actually set it out. We couldn't use the our back room where we usually do our drying. We have fans set up to speed dry things for video, um, but babies were sleeping. So what I did was I took it, made sure there was no paint on the back, and I sat it on the roof of Maddie's vehicle. Oh my gosh. Well, we all left to run an errand, and I remembered that I had done that, and Maddie said, no, I never saw it. Well... So it flew off of her car in the parking lot. But when we came back, it we was saw in, it the, in the parking lot. Yeah, so it jammed up and it may have even, you know, damaged some of the inlay where it went in, but oh well, right? We'll see. <laughs> we'll we'll see. see. So I'm going to go ahead and wet this. Whoops. That's well, excessive. That's, but <laughs> that was a lot. That was that escalated quickly. <laughs> didn't make quite that much but I'm going to make sure that it's thoroughly dampened because that is what allows it to release without having to put so much tension on the paper that it can tear. If you are as directed using it with a paint that's working properly with your inlay you should never have to apply so much tension that it tears your carrier sheet. If it does stop and apply a little more moisture and just wait for, you know, 30 seconds or so. So we are going to start at this end where there is some tearing from the fall, by the way. So let's go add a little more moisture there. You can use a spritzer or a spray bottle, but when you're doing this, if you go in to add more moisture, what you don't want to do is you don't want to get any adjacent area that is unprotected by carrier paper because that will smear mm -hmm. as you know from the directions this is pretty oh. you know it's funny oh, when so i pretty. laid the base color down i wasn't sure because it's a little warmer than the griselle toile is mm -hmm. lay this over here so question, did we ever figure out what kind of animal this is? Is it a squirrel? It, I, well, there's no way to know for sure. That's true. <laughs> because all the people from the 17th <laughs> century, 1700s have rather, passed on. have passed on. Um, but um, it I looks think like it's some a squirrel. species of squirrel. Yeah. I but think it's, it's exotic. A squirrel. So there's squirrel, there's what looks like a, some kind of parrot, and mm -hmm. it's just a beautiful... It's playful, yet it's a classical. Yeah, it's got so, kind of a quirk to it. Yes. Oh, I love this. I so too. I would next then um, give this that setting sealer and then go in and I would probably just do a light sanding just to, um, you know, kind of knock it down a teeny bit. But that's mm -hmm. not even really necessary. Let me get mm -hmm. in there and just show you this oh, this is one of my favorites it is i actually it's have a feature wall i have a feature wall that i'm going to do this on mm. in my living room I and love it. Sure it has almost a, a chinoiserie feel to it yeah it kind of does so that is the griselle toile yes. that we hope that you love so that is we are so excited to have that third design Christmas for you guys because three is just enough two felt kind of skimpy yeah. um and we we were just so excited about this design that when it got waylaid we were so bummed but we mm -hmm. knew we'd be bringing it back around to you and have a little bonus yes and all of this crazy freight things and all of the different supply chain issues that we're having all over the world, um, spinning that around to make a pleasant surprise for our people yeah. is another way to look at it, right? Yeah. So that makes it fun. We love you. Yes. Thank you for joining us. And be sure to let your stockists know mm -hmm. um, that you're going to want one of these so that they be sure to put one aside for you. Okay, guys. Bye.